I think a perfect way to wear um, a sweater during the springtime is definitely lighter sweat. So hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited for today's video because, oh my gosh, it's finally springtime. Me personally, I hate the cold weather. I love when it's, you know, windy. I love when it's warm. But, you know, it is what it is. Today we're going to be talking about what is trending spring 2021. I know, you know, we're still in the middle of a panoramic, as they're calling it. But I mean, if you want to go to Walmart and slay for Karen on aisle six, I mean, you can. And be trendy while you're doing it. <laughs> but first, let's address the elephant in the room. You. Yes, I'm talking about you. You're not subscribed to my channel, so I need you to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, click the notification bell, because YouTube does not always let you know when I've uploaded a new video. Don't know why they started doing that, but yes. So if you enjoy fashion and lifestyle videos, that's what we do here on this channel. So yeah, why not subscribe? All right, so the first trend we're gonna talk about today is minimalism. This is definitely one of my favorite trends because I mean, a good minimal look is just so perfect. Whether it be black, you know, an all black outfit, an all white outfit, tan, brown, you name it, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love a good um, neutral look. It just makes everything so much easier um, because you don't have to think about, okay, will this color go with this color? I'm wearing red. Do I need to wear green? Do I need to wear blue? You don't have to worry about any of that. If your whole look is neutral, it's going to look so much more cohesive. A designer that featured a lot of neutral looks on their runway for spring 2021 was Fendi. They did a lot of kind of brown, neutrals mixed with some blacks. Um, the collection did have a couple of splashes of color in there, which we're going to talk about later. I feel like Fendi is known for kind of doing that all kind of monochrome brown look, and it was definitely prominent on their runway this year. Okay, and trend number two we're going to talk about is knitwear, which I feel like is kind of an odd trend for spring because you think you wouldn't be wearing like sweaters and cardigans and things when it's starting to get warmer. So an example is kind of like what I'm wearing today. So I have like this sleeveless sweater type of deal on today. And that's kind of what a lot of the runways were featuring. So a lot of v-necks, um, a lot of cardigans for sure. Perfect example of this is this sweater by Alexander McQueen. I love the kind of splash of red and black and the white mix of white. I think a perfect way to wear um, a sweater during the springtime is definitely lighter sweaters, maybe sleeveless um, v-neck sweaters, things like that. This third trend is definitely one of my personal favorites and it's wide leg pants. Ooh, I just love, love, love a good wide leg pant. And if it's high-waisted, mm, that is what I like to wear. Raph Simmons was definitely a designer that featured a lot of wide leg pants in his collection. They were mainly neutral, kind of blacks or browns, but he did kind of throw some splashes of color in there. I love this trend because it kind of gives kind of a vintage feel. I feel like, you know, in 2021, a lot of people are all about, you know, the skinny jeans. Me personally, I love a little, little bit of breathing room. And this is definitely a trend that I have been wearing for a really, really long time. Probably own like five pairs of wide leg pants in my closet. Next, we're gonna talk about bold colors slash pastels. I think this was definitely a trend that was super, super prominent. Um, it's not necessarily one that I do a lot, just because like I was kind of saying when I was talking about the minimalist kind of trend, um, I prefer to kind of wear kind of neutrals, kind of blacks, whites, browns, but a pop of color can really, really, really upgrade your outfit. I do wear, you know, some color every now and again. I think it's a really cool trend for people who want to um, experiment with the things that they wear. A designer that featured a lot of bold prints and colors on the runway was, of course, Versace. I feel like they're, they're known for doing that, but they definitely kind of amped it up this season. Louis Vuitton also did this with lots of electric blues, a lot of yellows, and some really interesting plaids and kind of checker prints um, on their clothes this season too. The last trend we'll be talking about today is um, the track sole trend. This was a, definitely another trend that was very prominent on the spring 2021 uh, runways. 
I definitely love this trend myself. I actually picked up two pairs of boots um, that have a track sole in it. I think it adds a really, really interesting, um, almost kind of rugged feel to an outfit. A designer that featured track soles a lot on the runway was, again, Louis Vuitton. Uh, they, feel, they featured quite a few bold, different shoes, different boots with, you know, black track soles. Um, and I definitely would love to pick up a pair of these myself <laughs> once I get my coins up. <laughs> but this is definitely a trend that you should be looking out for um, in spring 2021. All right, and that is all the trends that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, unfortunately, it's going to cost you. Acceptable forms of payment are likes, comments, and of course a subscribe. And if you fail to make your payment, you will be receiving an invoice. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next video.